Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Mo ICT. In this tutorial, we're going to be exploring some more examples of Python and Tkinta. So for this uh, Tkinta project, uh, I'm making a hello application where you put in your name, you click on the button and then it says hello. If the button is left empty, then it'll just give a message to say please enter your name. And if you just put in, say for example, more ICT and click me and it basically say hello more ICT. Uh, we're going to be making this project in Visual Studio Code. So let me just load that up. Okay, so in my Visual Studio Code, I still got my last project here. I'm just going to right click on the uh, Explorer and click New File. I'm going to call this one Hello Tkinter.py. Okay, so we can work on this script. Okay, so to begin, we're going to say from tkinta import everything. So we're going to need a button, a label, and an entry box. So first, let's create the window. So let's say root is equals to tk. And again, let's give root a title. So let's say hello, ICT. And then root geometry is going to be about uh, 300 by 300. So it's going to be a 300 by 300 window. And then after that, we're going to create our components. So first, we're going to need a input field. I'm going to call it input field, basically an entry box. OK, so we're creating the entry box. We're going to link it to the main window, give it a width of 50. And uh, let's do it at the front. So it's at the front, I want Arial size 22. OK, and after that, we're going to say background. It's going to be equals to coral. And then foreground of it, I'm going to give it say black. So the text to be make sure the te text is black basically. And then I'm going to say justify to center. So the text would be when we type, the text will appear in the center of the box. Okay, and then let's go ahead and create button one. So we only have one button in there, but I'm just going to carry on with the last way I did it. So just say uh, button, uh, link it to the window. Uh, text is going to be click me. Okay, and then say pad x to 50, pad y to 5. So that way the button is wider and the text will be uh, text will be centered inside the button. And then we're going to give it a command. Uh, let's call this command click button. And we'll define that one a little bit later on. Uh, say background for the button is going to be gold, gold, gold. And then we set up a font for it as well. Uh, say this one is Arial 2 and size 14. Okay, so with the button done, now just the time with the label. So label 1. And then we can create a new label here to the window. And then for the text for the label, I'm just going to leave some question marks here. So when the program initially uh, loads up, it will just show the question marks on the label. So that way we know uh, if the um, if the entry box is empty, we click on the button. It needs to just show a message. Okay, and set up the font for the label. Arial size 14. And then after that, we're going to give it a foreground. Purple. And give that padding as well to 20, not 200. Okay, so and these are the three components that we need. We just need to pack them and display to the uh, root. So it's just input field dot pack. So by using pack, it's basically automatically going to display it in the order that you write it in. So if I put the input field first, it's going to appear at the top of the list. And then I'm going to do the button one dot pack. That's going to be the second item. And then label one pack as well and then we also need to do the root the main loop okay so if i try to run this i'm going to get an error to say you know this event doesn't exist so we just need to define it above the definition for button one okay so that way the script knows that this function exists before the button one is created let's go and create a definition called click button and underneath i'm just going to give you a 
do a return so that way it's, you can stay empty for a little bit i just want to run it and see what it does so if i run it now as you can see all the components are showing up there's an entry box there's the button and there's the label um i want to pad out the entry box and the button a little bit so uh, instead of doing it in the definition i'm going to do it inside the pack bit so i'm going to say uh, pad y give that 20 and then this one pad y can be about 10. Okay, let's try that now. So it's a bit spaced out, so it looks better. Do the uh, click button definition. So instead of here, I'm going to check if um, if there's an, any characters existing inside of the entry box when the button's clicked. So if the button, uh, if the entry box is empty, we want to just show a message to say, please enter your name. Okay, so say if uh, length, we're going to want to check for is the input field don't get. So we're going to get everything that's inside of the input field. And then we're going to check if the length is equals equals zero, right? So if there's nothing inside the input box, then we can just say label one, uh, call the text value for this one, and then change that to please enter your name. Okay, I'll leave that there. Else, oh, to do a colon here, say label one again. Call the text, say equals to, uh, this time we just want to greet the user. Say hello plus input field dot get. Okay, and that's all we really need for this application. So if I run this one now, okay, I'm going to leave it empty. Click me, it says please enter your name. And then if I can say more ICT, I can say hello more ICT. I put down Steve, Mia, Bob. This is going to be a series of tutorials I'm going to do using Tkinta and Python. So hopefully you guys can um, check out some of the other videos, uh, like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.